Each one of these is actually an official arcade street. These are okay. the colored streets here. Yeah. And these four have roofs. Okay. Um, this one doesn't. This has roofs oh. just along the, the borders. Right, right, right. Uh, yeah, also, I think for most people who come here, at least in my time, when, when I came to Japan, there were no guys at that time, like you. And everybody gets lost in most of these ones. I know, I sure did. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, so these are the official uh, also guide maps now. They are. Mm -hmm. Okay. They come out every year. Every year, okay. All right, so we are in Osu and we're just about to explore and look at that. Hello, there is Steve. the Good man. To Good to see you too, Stephen. So, Stephen, you are a tour guide, right? I am an Osu guide, yes. Okay, and can you give us a great tour today? We would um, love to know more about Osu. Yeah, I'd be happy to. I'd love to show you around also. Fantastic. Now, let's get to know you a little bit. Who are you? Uh, well, my name is Stephen Carter. Mm -hmm. um, I was born in America. Okay. I've lived here now for 32 years. Oh, so you're practically Japanese. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> I've been in the Osu area, either yeah. living or working now for about 30 years. Yeah. Um, my office is here. My home is on the far side of the arcade. Mm -hmm. I see. Um, so this is my commute every day. Twice a day I walk through Osu to get work and, and then back home again. You are a lucky man. <laughs> I really like living in this neighborhood. Yeah. It's so funky and eclectic. It is very, it's, it's a very artistic place and to be here every day, I envy you, I gotta say. <laughs> okay, we'll go on the tour then. So, what's the first place you're gonna take us to? Uh, actually, just down the way here, a little bit off the arcade. Mm -hmm. There's still people that should get off the arcade. Yeah. Um, there's a, a little temple that has a great statue of the of, of, of Buddha. Okay, and let's start with that. that. Okay, yeah. let's go. when it actually was a, a Red Lantern Red Light District. Oh, this was a Red Light District? Mm -hmm. Oh. For mm -hmm. three or four hundred years. Ah. The Oidon procession is kind yes, of... Yes, that's you know, why. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is definitely a pleasure district. Yeah. <laughs> and it's still very famous. I mean, I remember especially this place right there, the Mitarashi Dango. Mm -hmm. That's a very, very famous place, isn't it? It's been around forever, it seems like. Yeah, like a hundred years or something like that, I think. Here, but this is. Can you can you tell us a little something about this statue? Um, I don't know a whole lot about it. Um, I do know that this temple area at one point was quite extensive. It covered like a, a quarter of what's now the Osu neighborhood. Uh -huh. Okay. So why why did you take us here to this place? What significance does it have for you? Uh, for me, it's just this little oasis of serenity right mm -hmm. in the middle of, of bustling Osu. Yeah. I just uh, I, I like the contrast. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh, man, that was great. That was really good. So really refreshing. Very really refreshing. In the middle of Osu, yes. after shopping, it's perfect. Fun thing to do. Yes, yeah. check it out. members of OSU after a show. They'll, oh, yeah. they'll bring all the uniforms here and do their laundry. This this big temple here is those kind of, and it kind of marks the uh, it's the anchor for the, the uh, east mm. end of the arcade. Right. I think it's one of the most, or the most, recognizable place in Osu, hence the name, right? Excuse me, it's like the west end of the arcade. Yes, it's okay. Like, uh -huh. Yeah, and it's, it's iconic. It um, is, absolutely. It's been here, I think, 405 or 6 years. That's a long time. Uh, mm -hmm. It used to be in a village in, uh, in Gifu. Yeah. Um, but the village flooded routinely, oh. regularly. Okay. So they took the guy Ieyasu, I believe, and it, had it relocated here. I see. I think Osu actually got its start when mm -hmm. uh, Oda Nobunaga relocated mm -hmm. the castle from Kyosu to Naga Nagoya. Yeah. And Osu kind of developed as part of the castle town. I see. Um, I see. Yeah. And then one of the Tokugawa's, Mune Haru, mm -hmm. something the playboy, he really liked to have a good time. <laughs> and yes. he very actively supported the, the entertainment industry. Here, of course. Is, you know, music and arts and, well, prostitution as well. Right, right. And so that's how Osu thrived for about 300 years, I think. Oh. It's a freewheeling entertainment district. Interesting. Now it's all starting to make sense. I, I recently read about him and exactly what you said. He was, he loved to be entertained. <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> 
Yeah, so that's how this whole area got started. And would you say that Osu is the most famous area in Nagoya now, or? Well, I never thought of that. Um, it's certainly on the map now. Mm, uh, yeah. Tour buses come here regularly now. Yeah. Uh, before it used to be Sakai. Yeah. Or the Nagoya Station area. Right. And uh, yeah, you could very well be right. Osu is, is the place to come to now in Nagoya. Yeah, it's it's always crowded here. I mean, we're here on a Sunday now.